hello friends welcome back to my channel cracking solutions and in today's video we will be discussing about the topic of narration interrogatives we have already covered uh, the rest types of narration which contains uh, imperative statements change in the pronouns and the exclamations now we were left with the narration interrogatives now we will be completing this topic this is for both class 6th and 7th so both have the same topic and the both will be doing the same so we will be starting out with the rules the first rule say the reporting verb say as you all know we have a reporting verb in the reported speech which is the say so that is changed into the interrogatives word so first of all starting it what is interrogatives you all know interrogatives is question so interrogative is question words or which are used with the question mark similarly so here say changes into interrogative words which are like ask inquire etc so ask inquire are some of the interrogative words in the rule one says that the reported verb say changes into interrogative verbs like ask and inquire now the rule two so the second rule is also we say a jump rule why it is called a jump rule as you know the question are in a statement are in a question form so the reported speech when you came across the report direct speech that direct speech in the interrogatives in the question form so we have to change that into a statement or an affir affirmative form so to change that into affirmative the subject of the direct speech is placed just before the verb of the direct speech how let me show you so the question is he said to me whom do you want to see now here you we will not focus on anything else other things i will tell you as per we go through the rules but we will only focus on the jump rule and the first rule the reported verb say one so first of all here it is said so said is in the ver second form of the verb so he at as it is in the second form we will write asked to me whom what will be here whom now you know the pronouns change right pronouns change all of you know here as you know you is the subject i told you you is the subject so you changes into i he asked me whom i wanted to see now here you saw the subject is placed before the verb now the verb is wanted and the subject is i so he, in this the direct speech it was the subject is you and want is the so verb and do was also the verb so there were two verbs so do will not be there that we will discuss later on now just don't go with this just go through the subject is placed before the verb so here the subject is placed before the verb so this is a jump rule don't focus on any other formula or not formula so don't focus on any other rule just focus on the jump rule and the first rule in this question other rules i will explain you with other examples also so again i will tell you the jump rule we use the subject is placed before the verb so you is the subject and change with the help of change in pronoun it will be i and will be changed so this is the jump rule now we will come across the next rule here we have a rule Uh, which is a uh, very common 
that the other changes related to the pronoun and the tense are applied in interrogatives also now it is going to be a very important a topic which we will be discussing so in an interrogative type of narration there are two types of sentences the first is the yes no type and the second is what we will discuss further in the video in the yes no type uh, let's read it if the question begins with the helping verb then there is a yes no type so what are helping verbs like is am are was were are types of helping verbs if a question starts with it then it is a yes no type and we are going to use as you know that we are we are using that in the other types come uh, on the top in the other types we use that as a conjunctor as a conjunction we use that but in this type of sentence yes no type we are going to be using if or whether this whether is not the climatic weather it is weather it is a different one now let me explain with the, you with an example of a yes no type so here as you can see an example is given dad said to me are you feeling okay here as you can see you are provided with a helping verb so in a helping verb it is an yes no type how it is a yes no type as you can see dad said to me are you feeling okay now the answer which you will give which you will give yes or no only right that is why it is a yes no type now for first of all starting with said will be changed so dad asked me now we will be using if or whether both are correct if now you is there now you is there so as you know we are going to put he, this is this is the verb so this and this is the subject now what we have to follow the jump rule i have told you about the jump rule now if i was feeling okay now i have not given the response in a question form i have given the answer in the statement form so here jump rule has followed verb is coming here and the subject is coming here so this is the example of a yes no type and in which you are cleared with the jump rule also so now we will do the next type and the second is the wh or the question type so in this one in a question beginning with a wh words like who which whom whose what when where why and how also so the wh family and how if the question is beginning with that in that type which is we call the wh type if and whether is not used we are not using if and whether the wh word or the question word remains the same which is in the question i will explain you this better with the help of an example so now let us do this with the help of an example so the example is miss lee said to me why are you late so in this one miss lee said so said is our reporting verb as per all the rules we will be doing it so said so we will write miss lee asked me now why it is the wh word so this is a wh type so the why will remain why miss lee asked me why now you is the subject and are is the verb so in the jump rule which we are using the subject is placed before the verb so why 
in change of pronouns we have learned u changes into i by i r will change into was as per the tense why i was late so this is our answer of a wh type now there are the basic main two things i have explained you as you know the basic main two things were the the two types of sentences in the interrogatives which we have done which were the wh type and the yes no type now there are further some left over rules which we will be doing which is just to clear it up after that uh, i will be uh, sending you some questions in the practice questions in the description box there will be the link and the google classroom also the link will be there google classroom code is in your description you may go and check so now we will discuss the uh, some leftover rules so in this uh, rule so it says in a question with do or does do or does is the present form we change the main verb into the simple past now what does this rule says if you have a sentence starting with do or does we are dropping do and does i will show you here she said to me do you believe in ghosts so the answer we will be she said will change to asked me now do will be dropped here we will be not she asked me if because it is a yes no type if i now believed will change into believed in ghosts so do and does is dropped over here and the main verb the main verb here was believe it is changed into believed and it has become the main verb and we change it to simple past now there is another formula with did also similarly i will just tell you here if we have did as you know did is the past form right so that past form will be changed into past perfect form so that past form will be converted into past perfect example i am going to show you now so as you know that uh, the question i will be telling you here it is lucy said to me did the storm cause a lot of damage so it will be lucy asked me if uh, the storm had caused a lot of damage so here did is also dropped so did is dropped and we have changed the cause into had cause as the main verb this is the way we will be doing and now uh, we will be discussing only one or two formulas is left that will be discussed so another rule is if we have shall in the direct speech so instead of do does are we have shall in direct speech which indicates normal future like which is indicating the normal future then we will be what we will be doing we will change the shall into would not into should so the shall will be changed into would if it is indicating normal future in the direct speech now if the shall is indicating the request now instead of normal future it is indicating request then we will be changing shall into 
should only these are the two changes and this way we have completed our this topic also the questions and the answers will be sent in the description box and hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel cracking solutions and click on the bell icon just beside the subscribe button which will help you and get you will get all the notification as soon as the video comes so you may just do it and uh, wait for the next video and after this we will be starting with a new topic that will be the active and the passive voice.